Hey there, Cider Social Club. Uh, my name is Bert Boyce. I'm with the Santa Fe Brewing Company. And we're here today to talk about some of our ciders that we're making. Uh, just released and pretty stoked on, want to tell you about them. So a little history on the Santa Fe Brewing Company. We are New Mexico's oldest and largest brewery, uh, dating back to 1988. And we are uh, on track to produce probably about 45,000 barrels this year. We are, a, I would say, a very uh, consumer focused brewery. We, we spend all of our time trying to figure out what our customers want and then try to figure out how we can make that for them. Um, pretty simple approach. And so the, um, so we're all obviously big beer drinkers and some of us were big cider drinkers as well, including myself. And I was pretty stoked to have the opportunity to finally uh, release our own ciders under our own label and share that with our drinkers. My background in cider, I actually studied brewing and winemaking in college and spent a number of years um, in wineries as well as breweries in California. Uh, we decided to get into cider um, probably about two and a half years ago. Um, obviously, we're all brewers at heart, but I had spent so much time um, in the wine and cider business previous to coming here, um, and I was really excited to get to show what we could do on the cider side as well. I think um, a lot of our drinkers were really looking forward to um, to see what kind of ciders we could make, as well as, of course, um, providing a, another gluten-free option for so many of our drinkers that come to our tap rooms um, or that go to buy our beer wherever our beer is sold and are looking for something that is a little more accessible for those that are gluten challenged. So the cider we made, uh, we made two. Our lineup is, as of right now, it's very straightforward. Um, pardon the pun. Uh, the first one in our lineup is called the Straight Up Apple and it is exactly what it sounds like. We were going for a very crisp, clean, light, dry, highly drinkable cider that we think blended well with the rest of our portfolio and who we are as brewers, which is to make uh, to make beer and cider that's very approachable and that's imminently drinkable. So we were looking for something for the straight up apple. We were looking for a cider that was uh, not overly complicated. We wanted something that was accessible. Our fruit is a blend of uh, red delicious, golden delicious, some Fuji and a few other varieties that kind of come and go into the blend. I describe it as having notes of red apple skin, uh, very uh, golden, golden apple fleshy, um, and then some nice red apple skin spice. We get a lot of uh, cinnamon and maybe like a hint of clove sometimes. I'd mentioned that that I think Tin Can Alley is the future of dining or this kind of the way that the place is built and the way that it's very communal and the way that we, we all share space kind of with the goal of bringing people together. A place like this offers so much potential to when you go out with your friends and no one can make up their mind and everyone wants to go eat something different and you can come to a place like this, you can get a corner where we are right now. We've got couches and tables and we've got windows and gorgeous views and everyone can eat something different if they choose and it's, I think, the, this kind of gathering spot, like the old sense of a pub going way back, like a public gathering spot. I just think this is like going to be the newest way that we as a public gather when, when we can gather again.